uh, Dante, uh, Renee, I read somewhere years ago that there were talks about them wanting to tag, I presume, you with Tomco when you got sent to Raw in 05. <laughs> Rumors. That's news to me. I never heard that. <laughs> you tagged with him in Japan, though, didn't you? I did. I did. I was for Hustle. I got him booked there. But I love Tonko, but he fucked himself in Japan. You guys want to hear that story? Yeah. Yep. So he was in New Japan originally with um, uh, Giant Bernard. Um, a -train. A -train, yeah. They were tag champs, and they were over. Imagine those two in a tag team, how good that looked, right? Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but then I think – Inoki had just gotten pulled, pushed out of his own company, which was New Japan, right? So he was going to get back at him. They sent word because he had his own promotion, IGF, Inome, uh, Inoki Genome Federation or whatever. Yeah. It was like a work shoot style, right? So they coaxed, they gave Tonko a huge payday. We're talking like a, a good five WrestleMania style payday to come over right. for one show. But I don't know if he took the belt because they were tag champs. If he took the belt and dumped it in a trash can or like a kind of like a Medusa type deal. Mm -hmm. Right. But he thought this was going to be a, you know, a full time steady gig. Right. They put him up in the fucking five star hotel, gave him a five figure payday, you know, but it lasted once. And uh, he was just to fucking, just to get back at New Japan for, right? And that black oh, ball from New Japan for life. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. He had a good little push in the TNA afterwards as well, but... Um, he did yeah, with Christian, yeah. Yeah, he tagged with AJ as well. There was like tag champs for like quite a while.